find the rain with them old crappy headlights and that's not the best of views even with the high beams they don't even look like high beams to me low high low high what's up youtube hope you guys been out there building shit using your hands building fixing creating taking on projects i know as you do you'll build up your self-esteem your self-worth that's not what I did when I made this dumbass move. I found this here advertisement for LED lights on eBay. I thought, dang, that's a deal. Only 30 bucks for a set of lights? Well, wouldn't you know my surprise when I opened the box and there's only one in there. Ah! So much for reading the fine print. So, I placed an order for a second one. They're definitely not the cheapest LED lights, but they look to be pretty decent. So let's go outside and get it put in the truck. When the other one gets here, we'll install it too. Whew. Not only is there a little bit of snow on the ground and it's cold out here, but we've been having up to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. It is brutal out. This is not the best of working conditions. My tripod, barely even stays standing up. It just wants to go timber. But I told you guys I was gonna install these headlights. So let's get to it. Picked up a couple more barrels of oil to make diesel out of and old Blue Nose. Blue Nose is the truck that's gonna be getting the new headlights. Basically, there's this little chrome trim ring around the headlight and it's got about four screws in it you gotta take out which takes off the chrome trim wearing and then the headlight pops out. The other screws are for your adjustment, up and down and side to side. upgraded LED style the front plastic is a little bit thin weak feeling the rest of it looks and feels pretty good oh, I told you guys you're gonna fall over from the wind so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this hood I want to take a look down here at this wiring that goes to the turn signal and the marker lights because we're going to have to tap into them to turn on the yellow parts of the light that we've got. Okay, so this main plug plugs right into there so our headlights high and low beam will work but this light has marker lights and turn signals built in as well. So I'd like them to work. 10 mil, got the battery hold downs loose so that I can, come on now, slide this back a little and reach those wires down there. Now, in order to get these wires up where I can reach them and get to them, I'm going to have to push that little plastic clip in there. I oh, can't see it, but just trust me, there's a little plastic clip right back in there that I'm going to have to push out and so that uh, it quits holding the wires and I can pull them up where I can get to them. Alright, so got the little plastic clip out. Now, pull this wiring up and there's that little plastic clip. See how it pops through and then spreads open now that I've got this up here I'm gonna have to undo some of this wiring sheath from up in here and so if I can do connectors onto the two wires that I need and there's a black a brown 
and a white with a blue stripe. The black is ground, the brown is driving lights, running lights, and the white with the blue stripe is turn signal. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is cut off the plastic covers from these connectors, and then I'm gonna uncrimp these connectors and remove them and so that I can put this style connectors on it and then I'll clamp one of these over that wire in the truck and connect this into it. I'm trying to unclamp these connectors. The reason being is these wires are usually so thin that trying to strip them or anything, you end up breaking them and uh, sh then they're shorter and shorter. So I'm hoping, there we go, I'm able to just take off those tips and then it's already stripped, it's already ready for me to crimp the next one on. <music> Got it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and crimp this style connector onto those wires. Right, so now we've got the other style connectors on there. And then is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this style connector which clamps around the existing wires in the truck and then you plug these guys into it. Two wires that we're going for is the brown and the white with the blue stripe. So we get this little connector over the wire and then close it and so that it latches around that wire. And the wind knocked over and broke my tripod. So, what a day. There we are, we got those connected. So we fed the wires through, put that chrome trim ring on and put in the screws. Now we've got to connect the wiring back here and this three prong goes to the three prong from the headlights. That bulb and connector goes back down to the bottom where the turn signals go and then we've got these wires here that we added the connectors to the green is going to go to the white with the blue stripe that is the turn signal and the red is going to go to the brown which is the driving lights or marker lights I had to loosen this bracket up and slide it out of the way make it a little easier Hopefully I can get those wires connected. Got all the wires and stuff reconnected. Success. Now, despite the weather, while we're working on the front of this truck, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this piece off of one of my parts trucks, get rid of that hole there, make it look a little better. Well, this one has a broken corner marker light there. It's a bit sun faded. The yellow truck here seems to have a pretty good set. Thanks to the wind, I got this one pulled. I set it on the other truck, ready to install it, and the wind blew it off, and we got a big crack. So, duct tape to the rescue. Thank you, wind. So, casualties today. Broken bottom of the phone mount for my tripod, as well as a cracked headlight. Alrighty guys, I just went through a huge ordeal. Uh, the bulb broke off in the socket. It's glued in with this yellow gummy type stuff. So I ended up using a flathead screwdriver and digging it out literally in pieces until I was able to get the base out. Uh, then I went through pretty much the same thing on the yellow truck trying to get a bulb to put in here. Finally got one out of the blue truck, put it in, tested it, it's working. So I'm gonna get it reconnected down there at the bottom 
and then we'll test these lights. So first, we'll just do it to one click. Check out the driving lights. Driving lights are on over here. Okay, so that's the driving light setting. Now we'll go to the low beams. Let's go check them out. There's the low beam. Now let's hit the key and turn on the turn signal. Nice. There's the turn signal, guys. Let's hit the high beams. Usually, corrosion causes those high beam, low beam things to go out. And if you step on it a few times, usually it'll go to working again. Oh, man. Not only is the weather sucking, but every step of this project has just fought me guys uh the weather's probably a huge contributing factor to that but i've had trouble with my high beam low beam switch for quite a while it decided right now is the time to fail so now i'm gonna have to pull one of those out of my other parts trucks and hopefully get it in here and get the high beams and low beams working grab the little quarter inch uh socket set let's get this pulled thank god for junky old parks trucks you don't really care about one day this is going to be an apocalyptic build but at that point in time it'll need a dimmer switch didn't feel like taking this vinyl flooring out so i just kind of cut it a little bit bigger so that i could reach the screws and got that corroded old thing out whew nasty all right so i got it plugged in down there before i go screwing it to the floor i'm going to go ahead and test it so headlights on and still my headlights <sighs> might need to take the one out of those <laughs> That's the kind of day we had on. That's the kind of day we had on. All right. So that's the one out of the other blue truck. It decided it only wants a part-time job and I needed to work full-time. So over to the yellow truck and let's try this one. Let's test this thing for real. We'll jump in and fire the truck up. Glow plugs. Eight one thousand. Woo! Thousand seven one thousand. There we go. And let's hit the headlights. Okay. That side's the old one. That side's the new one. There's some high beamage. Old one, new one. Got myself turned around. Go for a little drive up the road and see how these headlights look. That's the high beams, low beams. The next day made my way down here to the post office and what do you know we got a package what is it oh it's the other headlight because my dumbass thought that I was ordering the cheapest headlights and I only ordered one 
now we got two. So now for the other side, I'm going to go ahead and clip off these, uncrimp the connectors, and switch to those. Step one complete. Hopefully today goes smoother than yesterday did. The wind ain't blowing as hard, but it's still cold out here. So these are tools we're going to need. That to take off the chrome ring. A couple of little clampers to go on the wires back there. Uh, grab these to pop out the little plastic clip that holds the wires. A couple different sizes of wrenches. And those to clamp those on. Oh, and the headlight. So let's get it in. So we got that in. Now just to hook up the wires. And uh, on this side, I went ahead and removed the battery because I'm going to have to get to the wires further down there. Uh, the harness comes from the truck side over and up. And so I'm not able to just disconnect it and pull it up and out. It's a little bit harder to get these clamped on in the right spot. But well, I'll get the it. turn signal marker light and the wires going to this are black, brown, and green. Green being turn signal, brown being marker. So those are the two that we need to tap into. Got that all buttoned up. The green wire on the headlight went to the green wire in the truck. The red wire from the headlight went to the brown wire in the truck. I must say, those new headlights sure look good. If I taught you a little something about installing some aftermarket LED headlights in your truck, maybe you didn't know the color codes for the wiring, hit that thumbs up. Really helps out with this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. If you're into these old Ford trucks, the IDI diesels, 6.9s and 7.3s, hit that subscribe button. You see I got a number of them around and uh, this here is 7.3 IDI diesel race truck build. We're going to be having quite a few videos about it in the next We've week. basically ripped out all the wiring for this thing. So I'm going to be doing a video about the basic wiring to make one of these IDI trucks run. With no dash left, we have no gauges. So we'll be installing a set of those. We're going to be upgrading to an electric fuel pump. We're going to be installing a 3G alternator in this truck. Along with all kinds of other pieces and parts getting installed. In the meantime, if you want some more IDI content, check out the description of the video. I've got electric fuel pump installations, 3G alternator swaps, manual glow plug buttons i got quite a few idi videos guys so check out that video description till next time believe in what god gave you take on some projects keep building shit.